must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Watch out for those guards. We can use our gifts to sneak past them. Where are they hiding?
I see. So that's what happened in the prison. Anyhow, Adol, take a look at all this. I get that it makes it less conspicuous for us to be coming and going with people here and all, but I'm not especially excited about the whole hiding in plain sight idea. <laughs> a bar, of all things. He might play the part of a quiet old man, but that parks, hmm, gets the job done. Yeah. You really can't judge a book by its cover, huh? Well, I guess a bar is the perfect place for gathering information. <laughs> Nonsense. I couldn't have done it alone. Carla from Pendleton was of great help. And that was thanks to you, at all. That reminds me. Carla mentioned she knew trustworthy people who could staff the bar. Is that so? I wonder who they are. If I remember right, the bar manager was some guy. He should be here soon. My word! Look at how gorgeous this place is! Wow, it really is! You must be Adol. And a doll, you certainly are. You're even cuter than I thought. <laughs> a doll? Oh, Dopey. Of course I didn't forget about you. Those biceps are quite simply... ...ravishing. Oh, um, uh, th thanks, I guess. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Shantae. From here on, I will be your lovely bar manager. He is something else, ain't he? <laughs> Maybe he's just what we need. And I'm Yufa. I'll be your hostess. I can't wait to start working with everyone. She seems harmless, at least. Good. Now that we're all here, as manager, I wish to discuss the first order of business. Without one, a bar wouldn't be a bar at all. And what's that? My dear Adol, why don't you take a guess? Hmm. Oh no, but so close. The booze comes after we decide on the menu. Give up? The answer is simple. What the bar needs is a proper name. Hmm, you're right, Shantae. A name is important. Don't worry. I picked out a perfect name just for you, Adol Darling. Are you ready for this? I hope it's not something inappropriate. I heard you travel quite a bit, Adol. But because of your predicament, you're no longer able to do so. Oh, you don't say. You're a flower capable of planting your roots anywhere, no matter how barren or harsh. And when spring arrives, a cute, robust yellow flower will bloom. Soon after, it becomes a fluffy cloud of seeds that float into the wind on a new journey. You, my dear Adol, are a dandelion, and that's what this bar shall be called. I was aghast when Carla told me what happened to you, but I will do everything I can to help you float into the wind again. Dandelion, huh? I like the sound of that. You see, I was confident they'd be great. They're perfect for the job. Yeah, I have to say, I was skeptical, but I think we'll be just fine. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's happy. By the way, Adol Darling, I have a message for you from Carla.
Oh, hello, Adol. I... um... I guess there's no use hiding it. The truth is, I've always wanted to open a flower shop. relying on the white cat's powers hoping it would help people but but it wasn't helping anybody not truly all this time i was either hiding behind the pendleton name or the white cat that's why i decided to do something not as a member of pendleton nor the white cat but as me krisha i'm doing this for myself Thanks. I built the shop and picked these flowers all by myself. I wanted to give it a personal touch. <laughs> and best of all, I can consult for my own business free of charge. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ada. Before this, Everything I did was a result of a decision someone else made for me. But you're different, Ada. You travel on a road to your own destination. And if a road doesn't exist, you make one. <laughs> yes. I think you've inspired me to be brave. Like you, Ada. Look, they're building something new here. Are you opening a shop here? I yes, ma'am. It'll be open for business very soon. I hope you'll all have a chance to visit. What kind of shop is it gonna be? It's already a lovely sight for sore eyes in this dreary part of town. Thank you for doing this, Adol. It seems this is just what she needed to finally take that first step. She's a smart girl with so much potential, but she's too kind for a place like Pendleton. The company's success is driven by sheer capital and steep profit margins. There's no need for her to be forced into that kind of environment. It's merely a pragmatic observation. Despite her gentle nature and the fact that she's adopted, we're actually quite similar. Oh, I suppose I haven't told you. But whether or not we share the same blood is of little significance to me. I wouldn't treat her differently for something as trivial as that. There's no need for thanks. Think of it as a favor returned for helping Krisha and me. Since you'll be in Balduk for a while, I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Huh. Interesting. So this is the adventurer Adol Kristen.
You're finally awake. As you can see, I'm a guard. I'm afraid I don't know. I've just been assigned to watch you. Sorry, but I don't have the answers you want. I'll bring you food and water, and I'll check up on you on my rounds. Don't try anything funny, okay? Even if you somehow get out of that cell, you'll never find your way out of the prison. Recently, some monstrum called the Crimson King supposedly snuck in. There was a big fuss about it, but we're safe here. No one gets in or out. We're in the most secure part of the prison, the Special Sector. <laughs>